In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really simple and nice RGB shutter glitch transition in Premiere Pro. Alright, you can see I have created a full HD resolution sequence, which serves as the canvas for my project. Also, you can see I have got two different videos on the timeline. First of all, we need to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Once that's done, we have to drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of the video clips. Now, let's move the time indicator to the middle position between the two video clips. Next, let's zoom in on the timeline. Now we have to cut this adjustment layer on both sides with an equal amount of frames. In this case, I am going to use five frames on both sides. So, let's move the time indicator five frames backward. Now we can switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and then cut the adjustment layer to this position. Again, we need to move the time indicator to the middle position between the two video clips. Then, let's move the time indicator five frames forward. Now we can switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and then cut the adjustment layer to this position. All right, the adjustment layer is ready. Now let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a transform effect. Once that's done, I am going to apply another effect. This is a VR chromatic aberrations effect. In the next step, let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then we need to create keyframes for the opacity parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Next, we have to move the time indicator one frame forward. Here, we need to make the opacity value around zero. Again, move the time indicator one frame forward. Then, let's make the opacity value around 100. Again, move the time indicator one frame forward. Then, let's make the opacity value around zero. After that, we need to move the time indicator one frame forward. Once that's done, we need to copy these keyframes and paste them here. Repeat this process for the whole adjustment layer. This will make a flicker effect, as you can see on the program monitor. In the following step, we have to customize the VR chromatic aberrations effect. Before we go to the next step, let's talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Artlist. Elevate your content with Artlist, the ultimate resource for creators. Discover unparalleled quality in their extensive library of music, sound effects, stock footage, innovative AI voiceovers and AI videos, and ready-to-use video templates. Artlist provides everything you need to bring your creative vision to life with professional-grade assets. With a user-friendly interface and a comprehensive collection, Artlist empowers you to find the perfect elements and focus on what you do best to create exceptional content. Experience the Artlist difference. Find the link in the description below and take your creations to the next level. You will get an extra two months free by using my link in the video description. Visit artlist.io today and start creating amazing videos without limits with Artlist. All right, let's go back to the tutorial. Firstly, let's uncheck the auto VR properties. And then, from the frame layout drop down menu, we have to select the stereoscopic over and under option. Once that's done, we have to create keyframes for the aberration red and green properties by clicking on the stopwatch icons. Now, we have to make the aberration red parameter value around 44. After that, we need to make the aberration green parameter value around 96. Once that's done, we need to move these two keyframes to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Now we have to make both the aberration red and green properties value around zero. Lastly, we need to move these two keyframes to the end position of the adjustment layer. All right, with these couple of steps, we have created the RGB shutter glitch transition. Lastly, we need to incorporate the glitch sound effect to enhance the visual transition. This audio element will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can create a really simple and nice RGB shutter glitch transition in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.